And you never hear the word occupation, which is exactly what it is. And I'm trying to think of, of when in my lifetime I've seen a state capitol building occupied, occupied by the people for now, what, what day is this? We're going it, it into... Would be, they were in day 15. Day when I 15 left. of occupying a state capitol. It's, it, it um, you know, I think that uh, the old Soviet, uh, whoever used to run the Soviet TV station, if he's still alive, he can wire. He must think, "Wow, these guys are geniuses at NBC and ABC and CBS, because they have they have kept the American people in the dark about uh, this explosion, this essentially revolution that uh, is has started in Madison, but is now spreading across the country." There's no question. I mean, let's not forget. In addition to the occupation of the state house by the people of Wisconsin, you also have 14 Democratic state senators who've been out of state for right. 14 days or right. more. Right. One of them is in his 80s. Right. Uh, you've got protests all across the state and in Indiana, where the Democrats have also left yeah. there, uh, and in well, we went to Ohio. It's mm -hmm. spreading there. Yeah, it's going and to over Michigan. this weekend, there were protests in all 50 states. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere. What do you think's happened? I, I think people have had it. I think that, uh, that this is a movement that is not going to stop. Uh, this is not just a protest or two, or let's all get in the bus and go to Washington, D.C. for a Saturday afternoon. People are pissed off. I mean, they are really upset. They're angry. They're disappointed that the Democrats and the president have not been at the forefront of this, you know, leading the charge.